December 30th, 2014. Um, I'm about to do a, another video on uh, SpaceX. Uh, it's a uh, science and technology type video. And uh, Elon Musk is about to uh, try something that he um, had a, a brainstorm on, actually. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did actually a week ago I did a video on space flight and rocket technology uh, it is about to change uh, this is where he uh, Elon Musk wants to blast off his dragon rocket and uh, when the reusable rocket comes back into the atmosphere and uh, he needs to land it so that he can reuse it. This will definitely cut the cost down uh, drastically from what NASA is normally uh, spending on uh, rockets. So here is the video that I did and you can take a look at it. It's just merely the idea uh, that is what he's wanting to do. Now today I found some other videos and news stories of where he is about to start doing the actual test. And here we have uh, a, a short little video from SpaceX uh, showing exactly what it is he is trying to do. So let's just uh, play that a little bit and so you can see uh, what it looks like. Of course, here you see the rocket taking off as normal, but notice how slow it's going. Uh, it's not going to enter out, of, uh, get out of the gravi gravity field. However, this is just a test of the reusable rocket itself. So it goes up, and it actually shows that it's being controlled. As you'll see, how it kind of teeter totters left and right. Now it's just simply hovering. Thus all the smoke. Now you can't see anything. Here we have the, uh, the little space uh, platform that's going to be out in the ocean and it's not very big as you can see the vehicles that are parked there on the dock uh, in comparison. So it is pretty big about like a football field but for a rocket out in the middle of the ocean it's quite tiny and here is another video clip of uh, from a different angle showing the reusable rocket taking off and landing. Of course, we the rockets fire. And we have liftoff. And you can see it's still going up slowly. This is only a test. And as you can see, it hovered away from the launch pad. It didn't go straight up. So it is being controlled by the uh, control tower or mission control, if you want to call it that, uh, by SpaceX. And they've done a couple of tests uh, earlier this year, and uh, it proved promising. So, you know, they're, they're going ahead with 2015. Now you see the little X-wings come out. That's going to be like a, like a wing on an airplane uh, to where it, it stabilizes the rocket as it actually goes in the wrong direction, which means it's coming down. And uh, there it goes. It hasn't wavered very far from the launch pad. So it looks like they're on to something. If we can save reusing a rocket and you know, save a rocket and then reuse it, oh, that will cut the cost drastically. And space travel will be off and running for the future, which is now. And are you ready for that? 
as you can see the shadow coming down dust kicking up the x-wings go out and I believe we have touchdown x-wings go in and that is it that's how another it works. view of the rocket of course here we have I'm going to zip through it a little quicker uh, here we have the rocket lift off rocket is up in the air notice how it's wavering a little bit is going to come to a complete stop hover there you can actually see the birds flying around wondering what is going on now it's going to start coming back down here we are coming down and we're almost to touchdown and this is how it works this is his idea and it looks like it's a good idea Here is another uh, article I found and uh, it basically shows the same thing again and uh, we're you know uh, looks like everybody is picking up on uh, on watching Elon Musk so we want to make sure we stay in tune with the news and, and watch it and hope that Elon has uh, good luck on all this now th here is Rachel Crane from CNN a major milestone has been met in the new private space race. Boeing and SpaceX have won NASA's commercial crew contract to replace the space shuttle. And liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. Boeing received $4.2 billion, SpaceX $2.6 billion. Boeing's CST-100 and SpaceX's Dragon will ferry American astronauts back and forth to the International Space Station. This is a big deal. Since NASA canceled the shuttle program in 2011, we've had to rely on Russia to get our astronauts into space. Seats on the Russian Soyuz capsule cost over $70 million each. Now, I've actually been inside the CST-100, and while it's designed for safety, it's actually pretty cramped in there. It can fit up to seven, but it's configured to only fit five right now. I've also been inside SpaceX's Dragon, which definitely seemed like the space capsule of the future. It had touch screens and it also had mood lighting. NASA turned to the private sector to reduce cost and risk in both the long and the short term. That set off a new private space race, and the announcement marks a big win for Boeing and SpaceX. Boeing officials told me they believe this industry could be worth $20 billion over the next 20 years.